So you're on day five of your hunger strike? Yes, I have not eaten. The last thing I had was Sunday night. But you're drinking water? Yes, keeping hydrated. Vitamins? Uh, no, don't have any vitamins, but some people said they might bring me some, so that'll be nice. How are you feeling? Uh, well, I guess today is the first day that I've really felt it to any extent, but I'm still feeling okay. I think I have the strength to continue on for a bit more at least. Well, you look terrific. Thank you. And you're, you're here to, to bring attention to... The cancellation of the OA by Netflix. They essentially said uh, the show was too expensive and it didn't get enough people watching it, but they also didn't advertise or promote the show. They expected word of mouth to get the word out for them. And while it's worked to an extent, there are a lot of passionate fans. We had 15, 20 people here on Wednesday. Uh, that's not enough in today's era for something to actually take off. Did anybody from Netflix uh, come down to yes, there help have been, you or uh, give support? Four people from Netflix. Actually, there's some boxed water right there, mm -hmm. which Netflix employees brought down. That was they, nice of them. They also had their EMT for the building with them. He was like, if you need a health check, we, we have that available for you. So they've actually been really kind to me as a person, but at the same time, I don't think they fully appreciate or understand how important a television show can be to somebody who doesn't have any support the rest of the time. Like, it's great that people are taking the time to support me during the five days that I'm doing a hunger strike, but what about the other 360 days in the year? The only thing that I have in those times is a TV show that makes me feel hope and inspiration and makes me believe that there is a way forward in these dark times because that's what the OA does. It's not like most television shows. It's not meaningless entertainment. It's thoughtful, it's inclusive, it actually addresses important philosophical elements in modern society, and it deserves to be saved. It's a work of art. Uh, I'm very ignorant. So how many seasons had it been on? They gave it two seasons on the platform. There was a three-year gap between the first season and the second season. Oh. And when the second season came out, there wasn't a lot of news about the fact that it had come out. And even people who had watched the first season didn't see the second season come up in their Netflix recommendations when the new episodes came out. There were a lot of people who didn't know the second season happened. Mm -hmm. And the show was pitched as a five-season plan. So there was a concrete, finite ending intended for it. Mm. Uh, have have any of the actors uh, supported you? Yes, actually, Brandon Perea, who plays the character of French on the show, he dropped by the second day I was out here, Friday last week, and it was amazing. He did a video, posted it to his Instagram and his Twitter, and it's just kind of taken off from there. So, do you have a Twitter, or is there a hashtag that you'd rather yes, people Yes, I follow? am on Twitter. I am E-M-V-E-R-S-E. -E. That's M-verse, like the universe, but with M at the front. And you can find, I've posted a whole statement that's pinned to my Twitter about why I'm doing this and why a hunger strike for a TV show, which I admit is an absurdity, but there's a reason behind that absurdity. What's the reason? Well, I mean, it's a long Twitter thread going okay, into it. Okay, so I got to go to your Twitter. Yeah. Is your friend over here with the angel wings? Are you uh, on a hunger strike too? Hello. Uh, no, I'm not yet, but I'm so inspired that I might just pick it up as you, well. You may join her. Yes. What advice do you have for somebody who's about to go on a hunger strike? Be careful. Listen to your body. And if your body is telling you enough, then enough. Right. Good advice. Sarah here is an incredibly talented artist, and we want Thank to keep you. her around in this world. Yes, you can check out my OA-related art at my Instagram, which is at Beaded Dragons with two S's at the end. Beaded Dragons. Yes. Awesome. Well, best of luck. I hope Thank you. something miraculous happens. I hope so, too. Has, has Netflix ever changed their mind about uh, something that they canceled? Well, they did do the movie to conclude the story of Sense8. And interestingly, when that whole Sense8 thing happened, they posted a tweet that was like, we understand the importance of telling complete stories. We're, we're not gonna do this again. And then they did it again. So they don't seem to have actually learned. Do I sense from your accent that you're Canadian? No, though I did live there for a year in Canada. No, I just have a strange accent. Uh, I'm neurodivergent, so the way that I speak is sort of reflective of some sort of internal thing that's going on. When I, I grew up in Florida, people used to say I had a British accent. I don't. I'm from Florida. I'm an American. So you're on day five of the hunger strike. What food do you miss the most? Oh 
Oh my gosh, there's so much food I've been fantasizing about. Brussels sprouts are really? my favorite food in the world. <laughs> I wish I could have some of those. Uh, one thing I really wanted is uh, angel hair pasta with pesto sauce and mussels. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> like, it's getting very specific. I'd love to try the Impossible Burger from Burger King. Have you tried the Beyond Burger at Carl's Jr.? Yes, I did. I it's had really good, that. Huh? I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, me too. The Impossible wasn't that great. Aww. Don't don't lose your <laughs> hunger strike for that. Okay, duly noted. Best of luck. I hope everything works out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks.